కేసారపు మీనా ఎస్ మ్యామ్ యూ బిలాంగ్ టు రంగారెడ్డి డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ ఎస్ మ్యామ్ హౌ డస్ ద నేమ్ రంగారెడ్డి హౌ కమ్ ఫ్రమ్ హూ ఈస్ హీ ఇట్ ఈస్ బీయింగ్ నేమ్డ్ ఆఫ్టర్ ద యునైటెడ్ డిప్యూటీ చీఫ్ మినిస్టర్ ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ దెన్ మ్యామ్ కొండా వెంకట రంగారెడ్డి హీ హాస్ బీన్ స్ట్రగ్లింగ్ ఫర్ ద తెలంగాణ ఇండిపెండెన్స్ సిన్స్ నిజాం అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఇండిపెండెన్స్ హీ ద డిస్టిక్ వెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ కావ్డ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ హైదరాబాద్ రూరల్ ఇన్ నైన్టీన్ సెవెంటీ ఎయిట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ బీయింగ్ నేమ్డ్ ఆఫ్టర్ హిమ్ ఓకే So you belong to Hyderabad and your parents belong to Andhra Pradesh? Yes ma'am. How come? Originally, like my fam- forefathers were from Andhra Pradesh ma'am, from mm-hmm. the Kadapa district. Mm-hmm. And then uh, due to my father's uh, job uh, transfers, we have migrated so to... So your father is a divisional manager? Yes ma'am. Where? A New India Assurance Company ma'am. New India? Assurance, insurance company. Insurance company. What is yes, New India Insurance? What is the concept of it? Ma'am, it is one of the four insurance companies present in... General insurance companies present in India at present ma'am. Mm. it is a type of assurance where this company is mainly in regard to non life insurance ma'am mm. with, re- with respect to vehicles mm. any other farm related activities and etc mm. so you stay in hyderabad you are a doctor yes ma'am. yes ma'am do you know a doctor is a governor in telangana yes ma'am dr tamil sai saundarajan mm. the governor of telangana she is a doctor and Shri also ma'am. governor yes ma'am so how can you see professional women entering into politics the women who are and a profession entering into politics yes ma'am i see it as a path breaking way because she can uh, like the women who are already can she deliver better services as a doctor than a governor she can do both ma'am i believe uh, she can do both well mm. by being a obstetrician herself she can understand the health sector in a better way in compared to other person who is not from the self- health sector perspective mm. so that better policy making and better administration can be done by her ma'am uh-huh. tell three similarities and three dissimilarities in which you can find in a doctor becoming a bureaucrat three favorable things and three challenging things ma'am the three favorable things mostly i consider are like being a doctor they are already uh, empathetic and compassionate i'm talking about you But if you become a bureaucrat yes ma'am what are the three favorable things which you have and three challenging things you have most favorable things would be my nature of understanding the issues of the people ma'am being empathetic and compassionate with the public service mm. and one would be the integrity of towards my service and my professional duties and making the profession before my personal duties ma'am mm. as a doctor and the challenges would be i consider uh, uh, like uh, understanding the different sectors of the policy making would be new to me but i would may, i would uh, learn them properly okay during covid times we have seen plenty of incidents where patients and their uh, relatives attacking doctors yes ma'am and after that immediately government passed a law also even in telangana yes. so how do you see uh, this patient patients attacking the doctors in health emergencies how do you look at it the okay. entire episode yes ma'am on the one side pa- patients say that doctors are negligent and we are seeing many doctors who are uh, actually negligent or doing malpractices in their practice yes ma'am on the other side we are seeing genuine doctors so subject to them mm. at the same time doctors life is also is a threat during yes, these ma'am. times but still patients attack them how do you see the entire episode doctors <laughs> who are really genuine and doctors who are fake ma'am it can be seen uh, seen from both sides of the coin ma'am from a patient side it is the anguish of the patient you know, of losing their family member who is the who may be the major source income for them mm. and it might affect the whole family the mm. single person death can affect the whole family whereas from the doctor's perspective it is only his duty and and the differentiation between the medical accident or the medical negligence is known to the doctor but it is not see it is not known to the patient uh, meena tomorrow if you become ias if you become a health commissioner yes. there's an incident in government hospital where uh there was a contributory negligence on the one side there's a medical negligence yes on the other side there's a negligence on the part of the patients to come through the hospital on time yes so there was both mm. yes. so the case is highly advanced but the doctors could not immediately respond yes so patient died and there's a very big issue in the hospital okay. as a health commissioner how do you deal the issue ma'am being a health commissioner firstly i would like look into the details of uh, complete patient details his uh, history of the disease and how severe it was and was it explained to the patient in before like when to come to the hospital and how far they should be ready for the hosp- uh, hospital timing and hospitalization and from the doctor i would like to 
know the in details like why uh, how was the medical negligence uh, related to and what was done and what was his duty there whether he was he really did the pract uh, negligent practice or was he was it a contemplated one mm -hmm. so what is forensic medicine ma'am can you define it ma'am it is a science so it is one of the science uh, science branch where it deals with the investigation of offenses uh, really with respect to uh, using various investigation techniques you studied in kannur medical college yes ma'am okay so you have the hobby of traveling reading and writing sh short stories yes ma'am and head of anti ragging committee yes if, for example if there is a news about ragging yes say a boy have a senior boy have ragged a junior new newcomer okay there is a regularly there was ragging there were so many groups who really take some excitement in ragging the juniors so how as a ragging committee member you deal with the issue ma'am to be uh, firstly ragging is a form of social interaction ma'am in general mm. but in nowadays what is de define ragging what is ragging any conduct or a verbal conduct or non verbal conduct or any offense which leads to harm or uh, uh, dis uh, horror or any shame or embarrassment or creates a fear of apprehension in the junior or a fellow candidate ma'am mm. so this is a ragging ragging so tell me how do you deal with the issue ma'am firstly i would see like what was the offense created was it a, just an interaction or how is how was it perceived by the senior and both the juniors ma'am mm. then i would deal with the committee members like firstly i would go to the student committee of the particular year Mm. so that i could uh, know the both sides of the issue from the perspective of a junior and also from a senior mm -hmm. and then i would take the uh, action against the junior and also take the issue to the next professional level with our uh, main mentor of the committee ma'am okay enough what is the difference between anti zionism and anti semitism sorry ma'am i'm not aware why it is a news i'm not aware of no that. idea sorry. okay how do you see the recent uh, government six schemes in telangana name all the six schemes yes ma'am it is uh, mahalakshmi scheme free mm. bus travel and free allowances to the women per month uh, only for women yes ma'am also for also for, for transgender trans uh, sorry next and gruha lakshmi uh, awarding the uh, houses for those who are uh, without a uh, homeless and next is, is it gruha lakshmi or gruha jyoti gruha jyoti ma'am so mm. and chayuta program 4000 mm. monthly pension for the schemes and also 10 lakh of uh, 10 lakh rupees uh, accidental insurance program mm. and also uh, uh, electrification uh, like gruha jyoti providing 200 units of electricity free for every house okay what do you mean by kesharapu kesharapu it it actually mean uh, flower name ma'am meaning saffron mm. and it has been a town in andhra pradesh ma'am okay uh, how does the name kadapa how come from uh I'm not aware of it now. I'll read about it. Please check it out. Yes. How does the name Kadapa have come from? Okay. Do you support three capitals in Andhra Pradesh? And Karnataka being a judicial capital, do you support first question? Do you support three capitals in Andhra Pradesh? Yes, ma'am. On the name, like uh, three capital issue is a good one, but uh, where the executive, the differentiation of the administration can be done in the names, but the main capital can be uh, st restored at Amravati itself, ma'am. Being uh, like process uh, decentralization of the administration can be done by giving judicial authority or executive bench over karnool and administrative benches over uh, visakhapatnam you support that over. you yes, support that why it leads to the uh, phase development of overall state i believe in overall development of the state ma'am so your parents belong to kadapa rayalseema yes ma'am do you have factionism still existing in rayalseema No, ma'am. I don't believe. Uh, like you don't believe it doesn't that. exist in nowadays. Uh, you don't believe it doesn't doesn't exist. Like I, it doesn't exist in. I believe. How it do you say recent uh, uh, Vekan and the Reddy murder yes, has the case solved? Yes, ma'am. Like I'm not completely aware of the. Where did it happen in Kadapa? Areas. Right. Yes, ma'am. Kadapa town, somewhere else. In Kadapa town itself. Town? Are you sure? Kadapa or Pulvendra? I'm not sure of the. complete details of the case ma'am i'll go through it still investigation is going on or the investigation completed it has been completed and they named a person avinash reddy someone as the you should not name the person they named a person okay. right yes, then to don't name okay. okay so 
you belong to Andhra Pradesh. Your parents belong to Andhra Pradesh. Yes, ma'am. State third rank in science Olympiad at school level. Yes, Special prize in writing quiz context by Ramakrishna Mission. Yes, ma'am. Who started Ramakrishna Mission? Swami, uh, first uh, Swami Vivekananda, ma'am. Okay. And, and the followers of uh, Ramakrishna. Who is Ramakrishna? Who was Ramakrishna? He was a spiritual leader, ma'am. Mm. Uh, who followed the uh, preachings so of. What was his original name? Ramak uh, Ramakrishna Paramhamsa. Mm. Original name. I am not aware of it, ma'am. Mm. I am not of it. Gadadhar Chetopadhyay. Okay. His original name was Gadadhar Chetopadhyay. So, right now you have seen JN1 version of COVID subvariant. Yes, ma'am. Uh, do you feel that it might it will it will the intensity will expand? It's going to you no know, affect more number of people. Ma'am, the, the the research is still going on, ma'am. JN1 mm -hmm. subvariant is a sublineage of Omicron Pirola variant, mm -hmm. and it has been not that intense as uh, the main SARS-CoV-2 virus, ma'am. Mm -hmm. The transmissibility has been increased, mm -hmm. but the research is still going on based on the number of cases. And the prognosis of the cases, ma'am. LGBTQ. Can you define LGBTQ? Yes, yes ma'am. Lesb lesbian. Uh. Gay. Gay. Mm. Que uh, Q is the queers. Bisexual. Okay. Bisexual. Uh, Q is queers. Yes, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, okay. queer. Do you support same-sex marriages in India? Yes, ma'am. Why? Because it is the right of... What is the recent Supreme Court judgment on same-sex same marriages? Like regarding the justification... Uh, what did the recent Supreme Court... Supreme Court said a statement with respect to same-sex marriages. What is that? I am not aware completely... About Has it supported same-sex marriages or denied? Denied the same-sex marriages. Who told? I'm not sure of it, ma'am. I'll read it. Check it out. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Your mock is completed. Thank you. Thank you.